And we are at our fourth episode of the Scrum course from a non-certified Scrum Master. So in the previous episode, we had a look at what is Scrum, Scrum definition, roles, daily Scrum. And then also we had a look at the uh, sprint planning and uh, sprint, um, the backlog refinement. Today, we're going to discuss about um, something I anticipated in the previous uh, episode, which is definition of ready and definition of done. I am Anto and this is Out of the Box. So definition of ready and definition of done. These are um, uh, two uh, things that most of the time are overlooked and not considered until uh, people start complaining during retrospective. And uh, essentially they they are simple uh, checklists and uh, the definition of ready is used to evaluate when a ticket is in a ready state. Ready state means that can be picked up and moved from the product backlog to the spring backlog. And the definition of done instead is uh, another checklist that is used by the developers to uh, evaluate if the ticket they they worked on is can be considered done, can be, can be moved in the done column. We're gonna see why they're important in a second, but let's go uh, um, in more details with both of them. So let's start with the definition of ready. When would you say that the ticket is ready to be picked up? Generally, you need to have things like, uh, I don't know, acceptance criteria in the ticket, or uh, you want to have story points assigned to it, and the understanding from the team is, uh, the team has a clear understanding of the value that the ticket is going to bring and what they are supposed to deliver. And if this is not the case, we need to bring into the um, sprint an item that is uh, not refined yet or is just too early for for that. And this can easily lead to um, a slowdown in in the process and tickets uh, get abandoned. And essentially, you're going to end up with a team that is going to feel lost. Uh, on uh, every single time they pick one of these tickets. So it's something that should be avoided, not just for the performance of the team, but also for the morale, because that is gonna have a negative impact generally when people don't, they feel lost and they don't know what to do. Um, so that's that's one thing. And one good way I found um, that works is to define tickets that uh, meet the INVEST criteria. So INVEST is an acronym that stands for uh, independent, negotiable, uh, valuable, estimable, small and testable. One other thing to keep in mind is to define each ticket with the value in mind. So the value that gets delivered should be obvious to the development team. And also we want to describe problems and not solutions. So having a ticket that tells you exactly what to do is not a good way, uh, is not engaging, uh, it's, just, it, it's just gonna be a to-do list. So try try to avoid the, these kind of tickets. Sometimes they are necessary, they are more tasks and generally they are defined by developers. But in uh, user stories, you should avoid the how to do things, but uh, focus on what you want. So the definition of ready then is essential for improving the predictability of tickets and generally something that is enforced by the Scrum Master. So the Scrum Master during the ceremonies should always uh, make sure the the stories are in line with the definition of ready. Let's now uh, look at the definition of done. The definition of done is another checklist. Is Generally, you can see two different sections in the definition of done. There is a section that is clearly defined by the product owner and the section that is clearly defined by the development team. So uh, you can see in the product owner part, uh, things like uh, the ticket is done when it's in production or the ticket is done when it's in a deployable state or when there are tests. And the um, on the development uh, team side, you can see things like it has been properly documented. It has uh, a version assigned to it. There are no pull requests opened. Uh, all, all these kind of things. So the definition of done is generally very specific to the Scrum team, um, especially on the um, uh, development team side, you're gonna see uh, specific um, rules around um, pull request etiquette or uh, coding conventions and, um, and, and, and many other things. It also changes a lot from one company to another. In some companies, you can see that the ticket is considered done when it's released to the end user in some others, you can see that the ticket uh, is considered done when it has been tested by QA engineers. In some others, uh, even uh, when it's simply in a deployable state. So there are many factors impacting the definition of done, especially 
uh, depending on the culture in your company and the processes and how the different departments are organized. So what I've seen in um, most of the companies I work with is that the definition of ready and definition of done are never, never properly communicated to the team and most of the time are not even defined in writing so there, there is um, uh, nothing that developers can look at and understand or product owner uh, can uh, refer to when uh, when de defining a, a story. So one tip I can give you is to have um, in uh, not even creating a document but in your tickets create a template that has a list of tick box um, for definition of ready and definition of done. So while you write the ticket and while you uh, work on the ticket, you can tick one by one and it will be much easier to be compliant with your definition of ready and your definition of done uh, in both cases when creating the ticket and when working on the ticket. The other thing I want to say is that these are not set in stone so um, like everything else in Scrum we always want to we have this uh, circle of uh, constant uh, refinement so and this is applicable to definition of ready and definition of done the definition of ready is never done and the definition of done is never done because teams will keep refining them during retrospective to say oh we missed this or oh, next time we should do this so all this input can all uh, most of them can end up in the definition of ready or definition of done so don't try to make it perfect at the beginning but make sure it is properly communicated and easy to find especially because when you have uh, new joiners in your team it's gonna make their life much easier if they know exactly what a ticket, uh, when a ticket is done. And um, also remember Scrum is a framework, so every single company will implement this thing in a different way. So previous experiences can, uh, can reach you, but they are not giving you the answers when you join another company or when you join another team even in the same company. So that's it for today. In the next video, we're gonna see uh, the retrospective that is one of the crucial ceremonies in uh, Scrum. Hope you like this and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon, bye.